Exchanging data to or from another CAD system typically involves using a translation file. You can import these files to create an NX part or export them to give to someone else using a translator. These translators are available inside of NX and also externally. To use an external translator, display Start All Programs Siemens NX translators to view the available translators. Each of these corresponds to the file type you are importing or exporting. IGIS and STEP are both very common. I'll select IGIS to demonstrate exporting an NX part file to this format. You must have the Java Runtime Environment installed to run these programs. Ask your system administrator for assistance to install them. Once it is, you also need to set an environment variable, right-click Computer, and select Properties, then click Advanced System Settings, then click Environment Variables. The environment variable you need is here, UGII underscore Java underscore Home, set to the Java Runtime Environment Path. With this set, selecting the IGIS command again displays a window to import or export a file. A command window also displays Leave it open. I'll activate Export and click Next. In this window, there are two columns. I'll browse and select the file to export in the left. The corresponding IGES file displays in the right column. It has the same base name with the extension of .igs. The folder defaults to the same as the source file, but you can change it. One of the advantages of using the external translator is that you can select multiple files to translate. If you did this inside of NX, you need to open each part file and translate it. There are a few tools that display both in the menus and along the top of this dialog. This one edits the settings for the translation. A different dialog of options displays for each translation file type. If you consistently change any of these settings, you can use this button to open the settings file where you can change the defaults. You can also remove a file to translate and rename the output file. When you are ready, click this button to perform the translation. It also displays here. When the translation completes, both the IGES file and the log file are created. Open the log file to view the details of how many objects were translated along with any errors. You can then close the translator window. Exporting a translation file is very similar to importing one. I'll select File Tab, Export, Step 214. Here you can define whether to export the displayed part or one you specify. Additional tabs are available to define what to export and advanced options. I'll cancel this to demonstrate another way to export by selecting File Tab, Save, Save As. Here, select the Save as Type drop-down. Clicking Options displays the same dialog that displayed earlier when explicitly selecting the command. To complete the export, enter a name and click OK. The internal translators can be accessed from the File tab Import or export menu. Simply select the command corresponding to the type. In this example, I'll import an IGES file. Browse and select the file to import. IGES files can have either an IGS or an IGES extension. Next, you can select either work part or a new part file to import the data. I created a new part file, so I'll leave this set to work part. 
additional tabs display with options to define what to import, and advanced options. Keep in mind that this dialog will look different with different options depending on what translation file you are importing. I'm going to cancel this and demonstrate another way to import a translation file. Select File tab, Open, and set the files of type drop-down to the desired type, in this case, IGIS, with an extension of IGS. Select the file. Before I click OK, note that you can click Options to display the same dialog that displayed earlier by explicitly selecting the command. I'll cancel this and click OK to perform the translation. The result of importing an IGES file is not a solid body but individual sheet bodies. You can sew them together to create a solid body, but there is an option that you can use to sew them automatically. I'll make the first part the displayed part, select the IGES command, and on the Advanced tab, activate the option Automatic Sewing of Surfaces. Click OK performs the translation and a window displays with the status. All the information that displays will be stored in the log file. When it's complete, the imported sheet bodies have been sewn into a solid body if possible.